You've seen this tank before, and you know I like to keep things simple. If it's your first time here, my name is Kev, and this is my 210 gallon African cichlid tank, and today I'm gonna be installing a brand new 3D background from aquadecorbackgrounds.com. Let me show you what I got. Nice. Check it out guys. The other half. Couple of sticks from Aqua Decor. This one guys is a floating rock. You can see the top is flat and it's not hollow inside. Uh, so whatever's in here keeps this floating up top of the tank. So it's an above overhead rock that hangs down from the top. Pretty cool, right? Ah, a couple of leaves too. A couple of nice little fake leaves. That's an added bonus. So I got two new bottom rocks. These are hollow inside, they stay in the bottom to add to the rocks I already have. So I'll have a total of five rocks on the bottom. And I got this big old upside down hanging rock. See how that looks in there. See what these pieces of wood look like. This looks super realistic. This, I would find this in the street and think it was a piece of real wood. Check it out. Now, this isn't gonna go in my African tank, but I might throw it in with my Americans. Never know. Another awesome piece of wood. These two pieces of wood, Aqua Decor threw them in for free. So I appreciate you, Aqua Decor. Thank you very much. Gonna go ahead and throw them into my American tank. I love the differential in the color pattern. Makes it look super realistic. Check it out, here's a little close up. So the first step of this install is gonna be draining this tank. Let's go. So while the tank is draining, I removed the light from the top. I took my glass tops off from the top and I'm gonna wait for it to get down to about 20%. And then we're gonna go ahead and start installing that background. So I stopped the drain here. I usually water change a little bit lower than this, but this is enough room that gives me space to work with while I put the background in. And it won't overly stress the fish out as they have a little more room than they usually do during water change. So Aqua Decor does recommend that you rinse the background off before installing it. It doesn't need to be soaked or anything like that. It's not gonna leach any chemicals off of it or anything, but they do recommend rinsing it just to get any dust that may have accumulated on it while it was shipping over here. It did take like a month to get to me. So I already went ahead and did that and some dust actually did come off of it, but it wasn't much. Next thing I'm gonna do is remove everything off the back glass of the tank. I do have two FX6s on here, so I'm gonna remove two intakes and two outputs both on each corners and I'm gonna remove the heaters just so that nothing's blocking my way while I get this background in. I know what you're thinking. Must be nice to be able to get to the back of your tank, right? Back of the tank all clean, ready for a background. Next part is probably the hardest part and probably the most stressful on the fish. I'm going to push some of the sand off the back of the tank so that it creates space for the background to go into it. 
So I'm gonna push all of this sand off the back of the tank to leave a gap for the background to fit, on, fit in between there. And then I can push the sand up against the background which will hold the bottom of the background against the back of the glass. So I'm using this acrylic plexiglass straight edge right here. It's gonna be perfect for moving the sand. Let's go. So I did a halfway decent job. You're not gonna get every single grain of sand, but as you can see, I was able to get a lot of it off the back of the tank. We're just gonna leave room for the background to fit in nicely. So the background is rinsed, a little bit of dust came off of it, but not too much. We're gonna go ahead and now test out how well my measurements were for aqua decor, because this piece is supposed to fit in between these braces on top. Let's find out. Perfect. Well, let's go this way. Look at how much clearance we got, guys. That's almost exactly the clearance for this background to go in. And because it is flexible, you know, you are able to bend it and flex it to get it into your tank. So as you can see, guys, even if I push the bottom to the back, the the top is falling forward well here's a very nice flat piece that goes right against the glass where my fx6 intake and output is going to grab right here and hold the top of the background that's how you secure it to the back of your tank so on this flat spot i got the fx6 output clamp go ahead and clamp that on and it holds the background in place perfectly let's move on since I realized there's quite a bit of a gap on this corner, it's got plenty of space for this intake to go behind the background. Even though this is a slim model, it still gives you plenty of space to hide your equipment behind it, especially in these corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So while I got one half of the background in, the fish are swimming behind it this way. So it's gonna be kind of tricky to make sure there's no fish behind there before I put both pieces up and seal it. Look who I found behind the background. That would not been good. All right, let's get him out of here. Excuse me, guy. Let's go the other way. Two guys behind this one. I'm just gonna lift it up. I hope they swim out from underneath of it. There you go. There we go. Nobody's back there. Oh, this is a tight fit, guys. Yes. So I got the background in, the background's connected, looking nice and flush. I'm gonna go ahead now and push the sand back against the bottom of the background here. Get the sand nice and even. Which is also gonna secure the bottom of the background to the back of the tank. We got the background in, we got the new rocks in. It was a little bit of work to get the background to match perfectly, to eliminate the gap, but I'll show you more of that once we fill this sucker up. Let's start filling up.
In case you might have been wondering what kind of fish these are, these are African cichlids and they're much easier to keep than you think. I've created a free webinar with the top three secrets about keeping these fish and you can go check it out right now. I'll put a link up here and in the description below. There it is fully installed and after a couple hours I'm gonna show you what it looks like after the water clears up. I will say that it did give me a little bit of a hard time to connect the two pieces together in the middle. As you can see there is a slight crack where the two pieces meet. If you do have small fish they are gonna get back here but that's okay because if they can get behind the background that means that they can also get back from behind the background. I also left a little bit of a gap here on the right side where they can also swim in and out if they need to. Here's a cool side shot of the tank and you can actually see that there are fish back there right now. And you can tell that there's plenty of space for me to push this background back. So I gotta reach back in there and push the bottom of the background back against the glass. This will create more space in the tank for the fish on the front side, but still the fish that do get behind the background can still find a way out. All in all though, I'm loving the background. I'm loving the way this tank looks now. It's got a really cool three-dimensional look to it. I love the, the bottom rocks. I love the overhang rocks. It just looks great overall. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Now, go ahead and watch this video right here that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy and I'll see you on the other side.